A good-looking Hampshire farm has all kinds of wildlife and this early March sun is bringing them out into the rides and field margins. Our air gun reviewer Jamie Chandler is out in the good weather to try out a new BSA air gun, the BSA Defiant. Look at all this sign. They obviously come in here and I'm wondering whether it's just a roost or a day roost or a, where they'll actually sit during the evening and night. It might just be because the drilling is behind us and they've been using this to dive in on the feed, but I might watch it for a bit. While Jamie retreats to the cover of farm buildings, let's talk air guns. The compact pre-charged pneumatic or PCP bullpup style of air rifle has grown up with YouTube and its popularity is mainly down to one man, Ted Byers of the YouTube channel Ted's Holdover. He started on YouTube with the Russian Edgun Matador, shown in this film from 2012. He moved on to the FX Bobcat, which he is discussing here, and recently cast his eye at the Benjamin Bulldog 357. BSA defiantly said they would never launch a bullpup. Well, they have. It's called the Defiant. And here's Jamie giving it a try. OK, quick, follow me. There is literally 20 or 30 pigeons walking down the field feeding on the seed on the top of it from the drillings. Follow me, follow me, follow me. It's designed as a short, handy air rifle. Maybe a bit space age if you grew up in the 1950s, but if you grew up in the 1950s, you probably like space age. It's certainly good for action scenes like this. They're still there. That is exactly what this little gun was really meant to do. Look at that, fast, straight onto aim. And we've won, pigeon down. That bolt cycled amazingly. This biathlon bolt is so quick off the mark. Second shot ready to go, obviously didn't need it. My God, just to have that ready. Right, we should go and find him. One in the bag, absolutely delighted. Rest of the pigeons scattered and have gone for those trees over there. We're gonna try and sneak in and get one of the outlanders, one of the ones sort of closer to us. I don't have a face net or anything like that. So I'm gonna be relying on a peak and the sun to keep me in the shade. Not sure it's going to work. Stalking skills are terrible, but <laughs> see what happens. Okay, let's do this. Right, let's go. Jamie approaches the pigeons, but they are well positioned, out in the open and with many pairs of eyes. His chances are small, especially as he is less the sneak up kind of stalker and more the charge bayonets fixed type. Told you I was awful at stalking. They're off. Stuff it. But then one, Mr. Stupid Pigeon, stays behind. Either we've just been the luckiest, luckiest people, or that was the thickest pigeon. I can't work out what it was. But they all flew away from behind us, and that one, Straggler, came straight round into that tree. Can't have been more than 20 yards. Simple standing shot, smack, down he goes. There is one more place for Jamie to look. You know, I reckon that these bits of maize have been carried in from the game cover just over there. I'm pretty sure that means squirrels. So I think it might be worth just sitting here, sticking it out for an hour and seeing if we can get a squirrel. He is right. A squirrel comes out, but Jamie does not get onto it in time and it spots him. Two pigeons in the bag is one more than respectable. For more about the BSA Defiant, have a look at bsaguns.co.uk.